Hi guys! I had planned on the first video I'd upload this weekend to be an update on how I'm doing here at Aboard the Boat as a bona fide liverboard. But uh, plans have changed slightly because today is actually the first day this week it isn't raining. And the next project here aboard the boat requires me to use a bit of paint. And rain and paint don't really mix. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on that project. As most of you know, I have a two burner propane stove here in the galley, but the way that was set up wasn't remotely up to code. In fact, the sum total of the installation was this piece of hose and the regulator, which is far, far from up to code. This is the original 43 year old propane stove that came with the boat. It looks a little bit grimy, but hey, it's 43 years old. I could upgrade this to a new shiny model, but why waste the money when this stove is in perfect working order? Because this isn't a, an installation that's up to code, it's not hooked up right now. And that means the only thing I have to cook with here aboard the boat is my tiny oven. And uh, that severely limits my options. Having both a working stove and an oven here aboard the boat is going to give me a lot more options on what to cook for dinner, and that's a big yay. Now it also turns out that for me to bring this installation up to code isn't really all that expensive and it's not really all that difficult either. Well that's to say part 2 of this video is going to be a little bit of a pain in the uh, <coughs> but uh, that's a problem for next weekend. This is the company where I'll be purchasing all of the different items I need in order to bring my installation up to code and they've got a lot of useful information here. Of course it's in Danish which most of you guys don't understand but there is still something that's interesting right here and that's this drawing. Over here there's a canister of propane inside of a box and that box is what we'll be building today. And then part two of this little series is going to be how to hook that canister up to your propane stove. For once I've managed to find plans on the internet for something I want to build here aboard the boat. This is the box I've just mentioned and this is designed so that it'll fit inside the aft cockpit locker aboard an Alpen Ballot. Now that I'm living aboard the boat I can't really store big sheets of plywood anywhere so on my way home from work yesterday I swung by a store that'll actually cut pieces of plywood to size and just sell you those pieces that you need. So this is all the stuff I'll need for the box and this actually only cost me I think 200 Danish kroner. When I mentioned it wasn't gonna rain today I was of course going by the weather forecast which coincidentally has turned out to be less than 100% truthful but uh, let's go ahead and put this box together anyways. This is just to check that everything fits. I'll be able to carry two of these canisters and it actually turns out this is butane and not propane but uh, we'll get back to the differences between those two a little later on. I've cut these pieces of pine that goes in the joint of the box to length and I've tacked them in place with a few screws. Before we do the final assembly I just wanted to make sure that everything sort of fits together. It's a good thing I did this test fit because it turns out I'd completely forgotten about this piece. Now that we have all of the pieces for the box I'll go ahead and do the final assembly out in the cockpit. I'll be screwing and gluing the box and um, in this case the glue is going to be epoxy and that's why I'm going out in the cockpit. The thing is I can't really talk to you guys while I'm out in the cockpit because it's really windy today. Ta-da! A box! Now that I've assembled the box, let's hurry up and paint it because it's actually been raining on and off the entire day and I don't know how long it's going to be until it starts raining again. For painting it, I'll be using this two-part epoxy primer and that'll seal up the wood nicely. The only thing is, I don't know if there's enough here because I accidentally ordered the wrong size, but uh, let's give it a go. The box is in there drying and there are some pretty ominous looking clouds heading this way. I was out there for 45 minutes trying to keep the rain off that box but uh, finally I just decided to call it quits. The finish on the box is gonna be 
crap, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be permanently mounted in the aft cockpit locker and uh, nobody will probably ever see it. This canister of butane will go inside that lovely box we built today. Although it's not that lovely anymore because the rain ruined my finish on the paint. Eesh. <laughs> anyway, the reason for having uh, this inside the box is, of course, if this leaks, we don't want the uh, butane to end up in the bilge or down here below in the boat, where it can either suffocate me a vehicle or cause an explosion. Either seems like a pretty bad way to go. The box will have a drain that drains overboard, so if this leaks, the gas will simply just go overboard. As for butane versus propane, I've heard there are some advantages to using butane over propane. Butane is supposed to have a little bit more energy in it, and it's also supposed to burn a little bit more cleanly than propane. But I know there's one big disadvantage to using butane, and that's the fact that it can be hard to light at low temperatures. And the temperatures around here can get pretty low, so we'll see if that causes any kind of issues this coming winter. I would, of course, love to have more than that little 3 kilogram uh, canister aboard the boat that well, you saw it earlier. It's pretty tiny, but um, sadly, it's, I can't, there's nowhere I can cram any bigger canisters in. There's just not enough room, so I'll have to make do. I hope to have all the stuff I need to complete the uh, installation next weekend, but uh, it's not quite certain yet. But, uh, cross your fingers. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. See you! The weather forecast, which coincidentally has turned out to be less than 100% too toothful. In the boat or in the bilge or anywhere where it where is to leak down into the boat. Pew, 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 pew. Having uh, this canister inside that box, of course, if it's if it's if it's if it's if it's if, if what to light at colder temperatures, and the Yurkul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And feel free to leave a comment.